Welcome back, our dear brothers and sisters, to Al Hajj Day today. Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik. All Muslims throughout the world are celebrating Eid al Adha, and uh, we're glad to have uh, most of the people celebrating with us on TV. If you're watching us, probably you're not on Arafat, so we all pray next year, inshallah, that Allah will um, uh, help us and support us to make it to Arafat, inshallah. I'm uh, joined by four beloved brothers uh, here in the studio uh, from four different uh, places and countries in the world. Let me start by introducing um, my first dear brothers, uh, um, Brother Gamal from Uganda. Thank you, brother, for joining us. Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, we have Brother uh, Muhammad from Gambia. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. And we have Brother Al Mudassir from Pakistan. Thank you so much. And Brother Lukman from Indonesia. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank you. Mm. Now, um, as we all know, um, I'm sure if I ask one question to uh, the four brothers in the studio, everyone will have a different answer because um, we all come from different cultures. And um, subhanAllah, this is one of the things that um, Allah, uh, for a reason, created us um, in different um, uh, cultures. And, and even He said in Quran, خَلَقْنَاكُمْ شَعُوبًا وَقَبَائِلْ لَتَعَارَفُوا So I think that's the uh, best thing uh, why we're here now. And uh, we can come up with um, maybe um, different differences and at the same time uh, common things. Now let me start by Brother Gamal and ask him uh, from Uganda. How is Eid now in Uganda? Um, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Wa salatu wa salam ala rasulil kareem wa ba' yeah, All praises are due to Allah The entirely merciful, the especially merciful The Lord of the worlds He who says in his holy book, the Quran Ya yuhan nas O you mankind we really created you from a male and a female. Hmm. And we made you nations and tribes, not for any other reason, not to feel superior over the other, but in order for you to know each other. Inna akramakum atqaakum. For indeed, the most honored of you unto Allah is the most piety, pious one. Um, Islam conjoins together what people would think that would not live together. Islam teaches that we are universal citizens with one identity card hmm. and one passport, being Islam. And that is manifested at wha by what happened today during Arafah. Different people from all walks of life standing, be standing beside each other, uh, 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 speaking the same words, doing the same acts at the same time, irrespective of their uh, normal ways of living, whether you're king or prince or sultan or khalifa or whatever, or president or prime minister, you're all the same. The same applies to those who are at home. We uh, always observe on that very day, the ninth day, uh, so those who are able to do so. Particularly in Uganda as a country, mm -hmm. we, uh, people who are not at Hija, generally people fast. They fast that day. Mm -hmm. And uh, the night before Eid, it is uh, announced by the uh, Mufti or the leader for Muslims all over the country that tomorrow is Eid and certain rules and guidelines are prescribed where to go for prayers, how mm. to live, how as a as remembrance to the people, to commoners, laymen, how to observe that day. So the Mufti or the leader uh, sets some guidelines. Announces, yeah, they set guidelines because each and every country, different things happen. Yeah. And some things come out, some others go. Mm. Uh, people may want always to disturb. There are people who would like to disturb by, you know, but uh, to keep it very um, uh, united and uh, for all of the people to enjoy. 
the MOF uh, sets rules and guidelines helped by the uh, the national authorities, the police and hmm. uh, the army. They help people celebrate it peacefully. Now, very early in the morning, people go to their worshiping places, hmm. open places, stadiums and playgrounds. Uh, they do whatever all Muslims do. Yeah. Now, what comes as a difference is after that. Yeah. After that, for example, tomorrow, it will be a slaughtering day. Yes. Some slaughter in community, some slaughter individually. Some get from abattoirs, the national abattoirs, or the government. And uh, the day is celebrated in the same way it is celebrated in other countries, only that what makes it unique is that uh, they have a way how they are um, uh, organized. You know, our society <coughs> in our country is mm. organized into, uh, we have tribes, after tribes we have clans. Mm. Then after clans we have lineages, family lineages. All right. Uh, after this is like big after, families? Yeah, our hierarchy, our national nationality. So different tribes speak different. Uh, dialects, different languages, and have different cultures. Right. There are tribes which do not mix up freely with the uh, female. Mm. They have their own way how to celebrate it. Some do not celebrate on that very day. They go to public places mm. uh, after eating. Then the next day they come. Uh, they they do, the, the first day is for everybody. Mm. You invite your friends, whatever. Uh, then the next day is for only people who are next to kin, next of kin, your family members who bear mm -hmm. your name, the last name, mm. Tumusime, for example, you collect all the Tumusime family, mm. you gather, that is your second day. Then the third day is for families, different families, clusters, for yes. example, not extended, the second day is for extended family, then the third day is for uh, 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 the, the simple family, mm. father, mother, children. Yes. No uncle, no grandmother, no. They have already gone because the first day was the whole trip, maybe the whole clan. The second day, extended family. Then mm. the third day is for uh, uh, the simple family. I see. And that marks the end of 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 Eid uh, uh, with a lot of rejoicing. People uh, 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 continue uh, bring exchanging gifts from yes. this way to the other way. So it uh, Eid. Um, it uh, becomes a, reun a reunion mm. day for... All right. uh, I'll, uh, I'll start for using this word. Um, it uh, uh, gets reunion to all people uh, around and subhanAllah uh, created it for so many reasons. I'll, I'll, um, I'll use your word to move to Brother Muhammad from Gambia yeah. and ask you um, how, how I... Li like I know that most of Muslims do the same thing, yeah. but like can you tell us how is it different from other countries in Gambia? Yeah, Well, Gambia, particularly as a Muslim country, having as a fact that it has 95% Muslim, makes it a Muslim country. So, Eid al Adha, it's like the border says, it's not like that much different based on certain things he said. Hmm. It starts with the fasting of the Yom al um, Arafa, like today. And the celebration starts at night normally, the feeling. Hmm. Yeah, the feeling. It's like after the iftar, um, it's like the start, that's the place it starts. Yeah. And it comes with the excitement of everyone feels having something new. If it based in communities. And I don't forget, as the brother said, if it comes to, like, the announcement also in Uganda, as he said, it's the same thing you have in Gambia. You'll have a council that's appointed for almost every religious activities for the country. It's not like someone barely does something for yourself. That's m mostly in the provinces. But if it comes to downtown in the capital, you have a council being appointed for every actions based as a nation. It's called right. the Supreme Islamic Council. Hmm. So some sort of a leader to, to every area? Yeah, no, it's not something like a shop leader. It's like n as a nation, for a day to be appointed, that tomorrow is the announcement. 
for instance, that cancels the, um, if it comes to Ramadan, it's the same cancel that tells you that when the sign of the moon is clear, so tomorrow is the day of fasting. Likewise, they eat. All right. at, at so they, they, they guide people and, and they tell them yeah. what, what to do on, on what day? Not exactly what to do, but just to announce to the whole nation Remember that it. tomorrow okay. is Yom al I see. Yeah, it's, it's like it's a nationwide celebration. Mm -hmm. So you have like the presidents, the leaders, and everyone is like, it's a national duty. Since you have 95% Muslims, so it needs to be announced, announced and it has to move like a nation. Mm -hmm. So normally this announcement is always done there. And, but as I said, the feeling starts at night, hmm. if I could call it, because I, I have been Mr. Gambia for over five years, but the feeling starts at night. I see. And everyone feels like having something new. Hmm. New clothes, shoes, new everything. All right, I'll use your word new yeah. and the, uh, the new feeling, mm -hmm. and um, I'm sure that all Muslims, alhamdulillah, have the <laughs> same feeling and go to Brother Mudassar in Pakistan. What's the feeling of aid in Pakistan? <laughs> First of all, I would like to thank you and your all team of this program Hajj day to day that you have invited me once again here. Thank you. It's after pleasure. that after that I would like to congratulate all Muslim Ummah and all of our viewers and audience who are seeing us now. Almost Eid has been starting. I would like to say all of you and all of our audience Eid Mubarak. Okay. After all, uh, I will pray to Allah that He will accept <coughs> all of our prayers and send His blessing on all of the humanity mm -hmm. existing in the world. Mm -hmm. About Pakistan, uh, I would like to share with you how we celebrate the Eid in the Pakistan. Please. As we know that uh, Pakistan is a significant Muslim country. Mm and we have the population of Muslims like uh, almost 99 percent. Hmm. So I'm not going to discuss general things the, which are compatible and which are not different from um, the other Muslim hmm. countries. I'd like to give you uh, inferior views of the celebration existing in Pakistan. That would be great. Yeah, like uh, Brother Muhammad told, that uh, we have also, like other countries, a moon sightening committee mm. which will announce for the Eid, Eid al Fitr or Eid al Azha. They will announce it and the people will get themselves ready for the celebration of Eid. Uh, if this time you will uh, uh, watch the Pakistan, or if you can watch the Pakistan now, this time, the night before the Eid, you can see the decorated lights the streets, the children are happy everywhere. Almost no one is going to sleep tonight. Mm. They will wait for the Eid prayer and they will celebrate. They will cook some things in their houses. That's how. And whenever the day of Eid will be starting, as we are following the jurisprudence uh, of uh, Imam uh, Abu Adam Hanifa, so we are going to offer a little bit late at 8 o'clock mm. or 9 o'clock, like that. So all of the people will rush out from their houses and will go towards the mosque, like general. Mm. And uh, uh, in the prayer, uh, the main nucleus and the main nucleus of concentration is the prayer, is the man who is leading the prayer, the mm. leader of the prayer, Imam. I see. So after the prayer, everyone will like to meet him, uh, like to shake a hand with him, and like to kiss his forehead. So he is the main nucleus of celebration in the Eid prayer. All right. And after that, two or three things that is very different. From the mosque, mosque uh, of the village or town, anywhere, uh, people will collect in the form of groups. Means that from one mosque, uh, one, one mosque, they will gather into six or seven groups. And they are going uh, to celebrate Eid, are going to sit with the special family. Which is that special family? Uh, two types of families. The one who is the poorest ever in the society. One group will go there and they will celebrate Eid for half an hour or an hour. They will sit with them, talk with them and celebrate Eid with them. Hmm. Or the second family, uh, in the family, uh, in the previous year, before the Eid, if uh, someone has been died in a family, so all the people will get together and they will go to that house 
and they will make him feel like that that you have not lost anyone of you we are here to celebrate and we are here to fulfill the space of that person who has gone to this world gone from this world yeah. so we are here as a community as a muslim society and we are going to celebrate it together mm. so uh, what, what was the first person i i know the, the second person if uh, a family has uh, had someone who yeah. passed away first one who is the poorest poorest ah, the in the poorest. society mm. Yeah. Mm. and this is uh, really nice yeah before the eid the uh, day they will uh, sure. of course they will try to provide them new shoes mm. new dresses and when will the day Should of eid begin some gifts. Uh, yeah mm. some gifts and when the day of eid will begin after the prayers they will mm. go to collectively this is like a charity based community exactly everyone is trying to help uh, the second one mm. and after that uh, all the people will come together on the place on the ground uh, we we say it uh, as a slaughtering ground and we do their slaughtering collectively mm. and everyone is uh, happy and pray to allah قُلْ إِنَّ صَلَاتِي وَنُسُكِي وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَمَاتِ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ To accept our prayers and our sacrifice in yes. Islam. Alright, uh, thank you for the uh, addition and um, I'm really glad for the example you've mentioned uh, because uh, uh, in the example uh, Muddasa mentioned, uh, some people visit families and uh, I think giving people um, some of your time is much uh, valuable than giving them some gifts and money only. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, uh, let me move to uh, Brother Lukman uh, mm. from Indonesia. Brother yes, Lukman, yes. we're really glad having you here. Mm. Uh, can you tell us more about uh, the differences also that exist in Indonesia that might not exist in any of our countries? Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, I would like to say all prices are due to Allah. May peace and blessing be upon our beloved Prophet, That's his family, his companions, and for those who follow them in the righteousness mm. until the day of judgment mm. and I would like to say and wish happy Eid al-Adha for all Muslim around the world mm. and I think it is very very happy day for us as Muslim mm. because we have to, uh, to, to, to festival days not only sure. uh, Idul Fitri, but also the greatest feast or the greatest day of Eid, that is Idul Adha. Mm. And actually, our tradition and celebrating Idul Adha is not very different from different countries that our brother are talking about. And we actually, our tradition is not very totally different. Mm. But what I would like to say here, you know that, first of all, I would like to say that Indonesia is considered the largest Muslim countries. We are considered number one. And then India, eh, and then Pakistan, and India, Bangladesh, and the rest of Muslim countries. Yeah. And only 20% of Muslim population living in Middle East. Hmm. So many people think that Islam is only Arab people. Yeah. No, that's not right. Well, thank you for yes. that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. And yeah. If thank you for mentioning this yes, because yes, I think yes, most yes. of the people might perceive uh, because uh, just mm. because of the language when yes, people speak yes. the Arabic, mm -hmm. uh, they think uh, we're, we're the largest mm. um, community or countries speaking yes. mm -hmm. Arabic. Yes, in fact that we have many and huge Muslim population living outside Arab countries. I see. So Indonesia so is. If you have also numbers, it would be great if you can share them. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So this is why Indonesia is considered the largest Muslim countries, and most of us are following the school of thought in Islamic jurisprudence, that is, uh, Shafi'i school of thought. Hmm. Mm. But sometimes the problem that we have because we have two big uh, Islamic organization. Muhammadiyah and Nahdatul Ulama. Muhammadiyah and Nahdat? Nahdatul Ulama. Ulama. Mm. Mm. Muhammadiyah, the follower of um, the Prophet Muhammad. And the revival of Islamic scholar or something like that. Mm. The problem is that sometimes someti we have different in 
determining the day of the Eid. So Muhammadiyah today they are celebrating it. <laughs> yeah. Although the majority of Muslim will be celebrating it tomorrow, not tomorrow, today. Not today okay. But if we look at Indonesia, so some are Muhammadiyah followers, they are celebrating it today. <laughs> and they base their opinion on uh, Hisab Falaki, hmm. I mean, something debatable in Islamic jurisprudence. Yeah. But of course, we don't want to talk about this. I mean, yeah. different point of view in Islamic jurisprudence. Yes. But the most beautiful thing, although we have different day in celebrating Idul Adha and sometimes Idul Fitri, hmm. but we still respect to each other. Sure. This is the most important. Yes. Thing. yes. So we, we, I mean, usually have different, I mean, day of Idul Fitri, but we still respect to each other yeah. this is something beautiful if you look at indonesia although i mean it seems probably very strange for some people <laughs> <laughs> i see all right well yeah. thank you for sharing this because <laughs> this is um, i'm sure uh, is new to all of us yeah, yeah, uh, yeah exactly so it gives uh, me a point yeah about, uh, yeah please uh currently we're facing the same problem mm. Mm. Uh, it has created uh, some uh, factions in the country mm. for example uganda particularly uh, we have two moptis one self-proclaimed himself a mopti uh, following a school of law uh, jurisdiction, hmm. uh, you saw they are like explaining from the Islamic sources the understanding of this of the principles becomes different from the renowned Muslim leader. Hmm. So he makes some fatwas sometimes different from the one uh, who's supposed to make. Mm -hmm. So it gives some differences to some layman, the elementary Muslims. Mm -hmm. They fail to understand. But nevertheless, we still uh, uh, rejoice and respect each other mm -hmm. in spite of the differences. And we make it a day. And people yeah. are always celebrating. That's what I like about Islam. That we are different in uh, 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 understanding the sources mm. Mm. in interpreting the principles yes. but in the end of it we all unite by the word because all of us re re uh, uh, report to the mosque none of us reports to the church mm. we are all Muslims and that unites us and that's a good thing because yeah, respect is the most important yeah, yeah, factor yeah. Yeah. In this, yeah of course mm. yeah. I like that yeah. Right, so it's like a moon sighting difference, <laughs> nothing <laughs> more than it, as our prophet said. Means where do you uh, stand? <laughs> yeah. 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 As, as a contradiction between scholars of Ummah, mm. according to the Hadith, it is Rahmah and blessing. That's yes. true. The, yes. It's Absolutely. like uh, a blessing for us. Mm. Yes, okay. and also um, if we focus on, uh, um, on the objective of, of this, um, yeah. when, when people check when is the Eid or when is Ramadan starting or when mm -hmm. is it ending mm -hmm. um, it, it all happens because we we need to make sure we're directing all people on the right path yeah. yes. but if some countries um, might find it difficult or they face difficulty doing this mm -hmm. that doesn't mean if a country do it before the other we hate each other no. so definitely we understand mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. alright yeah. let me take you to um, a, a, a place where uh, where we can go back some a few or many years yeah. mm. <laughs> and remember Eid when we were uh, young people so probably um, if I ask you to remember when you were 10 years old mm. and uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 how yeah. do you see My yourself <laughs> when, when you were 10 years old now yeah. and um, you were going out maybe um, for Eid prayer yeah. with uh, your family members <laughs> now I want you to tell me uh, exactly in detail what do you remember and, and and your feeling i'm sure this is the uh, the most thing you remember now your feeling yeah. when you were 10 years old for example yeah. now if if i ask um, muhammad from gambia to start yeah you're right you, and you refresh my mind going back <laughs> to when i was just like a young boy, little boy it's like the feeling today i actually really with a kind of the tendency is like it's a bit low compared to when i was young at that age yeah. it's like 10 the whole right. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Brother Muhammad. Um, I have an international call from Mecca. 
we have Sister Aisha with us. Assalamu uh, alaikum, Sister. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I would like to say happy Eid al Adha to you all making good afternoon. Thank you, Sister. And mashallah, alhamdulillah, we had very nice time with you, Hajj season. And thank you so much for everything. And again, Eid al Adha mubarak, all of the Muslim Ummah. Allahumma amin. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you for the input. And we'd like to say that we envy you. <laughs> Inshallah, we hope uh, next year we, uh, we'd be all in Mecca. Inshallah. <laughs> All right, Brother Muhammad, I'm sorry yeah, for that. Coming back, as I said, um, when I was young, I had like myself down there. Um, it's like, at that time, the whole, it's like everything belongs to you. It's like you carry the whole it like it's for you. And you get more busy than anyone. So today I don't take it like that. It's like 10, you will have a sleepless night before the eat comes. And if you enter into it, it's like you will never relax. You will feel like doing everything. And you're the one who disturbs everyone. I need my new clothes. And you need a changing of clothes as you go in. As you go in. Like in the morning, you have to wear something. It comes to the afternoon, you have to change. Yeah. You have to do everything. It's like you, and you end up being, normally I'll get lost. What happens? <laughs> <laughs> normally I'll get lost. It will require that I, you have to show me on TV and Someone will say, we find this little boy somewhere and we we'll know where he's coming from or going to. That's what happens to me. It's like a feeling, but as I grow up, that feeling dies. You see, you celebrate with a kind of a tendency of a relaxing feeling and devotion and understanding that the way it is. And you're still waiting for the prayer and after the prayer to visit family and friends. And yeah, sure, I wish to. Sure, sure. yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Brother Mudassi. Um, how were you eight, ten, when you were ten? <laughs> well, Brother Mahmoud, <laughs> I, I wish to be ten years old now. <laughs> I wish that I can went back to the, that childhood. It was so awesome and uh, so nice. The main thing that uh, new clothes, new shoes. <laughs> I was going to be see them all the night. Yeah. And uh, I was going to you wait the morning. Yeah. When the when will the Eid will start and I will wear them. <laughs> <laughs> and the next thing that uh, I could remember now, that uh, always I wished uh, and I asked from the dead in the mosque that uh, can I hug this imam, the leader, and he always said no, it's uh, uh, not for the child, you can shake hand with him but you cannot hug. And the third thing that we have something like uh, uh, decoration from the light. Yeah, sparkling. Sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. Um, we'll take this call and get back to you. We have uh, Brother Abdullah from Nigeria. Uh, uh, Assalamu alaikum, brother. Brother Abdullah, can you hear me? Uh, uh, happy Eid, brother. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing fine. I'm great. Uh, thank God. How are you? Yeah, we're doing great. We're happy to hear your voice. Yes, uh, I want to say uh, appreciation to you. Uh, Alhamdulillah, firstly, praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to give his maintenance and the of our Mecca Muhammad and his followers, his household, and all of those who follow him righteously up to the day of judgment. I want to call you and I want to appreciate the program because we, me and my family, we look at the program 24 hours and then we are benefiting from it a lot. So we pray that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide the program and we pray for the continuity. Inshallah. All right, thank you so much, uh, Brother Abdullah. Um, I pray that uh, next year you'd make it to Mecca, inshallah. Inshallah. Right, I'm sorry for interruption. So there is something like uh, sparkling from the light. Uh, we will use it to play on mm. the Eid and like to celebrate. And after that, when uh, we would come back from the mosque. Mm. We have an Eid cake in the family. We will get together collectively and cut that cake. How does it taste? Oh, <laughs> well, I am still remembering it. <laughs> it's something like traditional and uh, cultural base. Uh, you cannot find it here all over the world. You can only find it in Pakistan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. So that's now he's making us craving it. <laughs> definitely, right. definitely. Yeah. And another thing I thought is, is like. Um, as a little boy, a competition of rams. Hmm. They say, my father bought a bigger ram, so 
hours can find on you. So it's like you have that kind of competition. I saw it in Egypt here, like yeah. people, kids are like, uh, yeah, no, we have the bigger round than you. So it's like yes. just to see that competition out, <laughs> they get together like fighting a bit. This is <laughs> I true. enjoyed it when I was 10. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, Brother Lukman, uh, how was your age when you were 10 years uh, old? Uh, hopefully I can recall my memory when I was child <laughs> you can't recall <laughs> okay but Sh I shall we move a, li a little bit further like uh, maybe when you were 12 <laughs> 14? but i think i mean the best thing that i was experiencing when i was child is that in our country we have the tradition that we call mudik mudik is going back home so usually people are living in the cities in capital city and many cities around Indonesia but when it comes so they will be going back to their homes they will be going back to their villages mm. gathering with their families mm. so when the day of it is coming many people will feel very happy because mm. there will be many new people in their life and sometimes we have new rela uh, relatives they are actually our relative but we don't meet to each other but yeah, when the age yes mm. but when yeah, the age yeah. is coming we will be meeting them so yes. it seems that we have sort of new members of family yeah. so we will we will be rejoicing it we will be very happy because we s we have new people and we are celebrating it and we are visiting to each other hmm. after we perform uh, Salatul right. Laid yes. and then we try to visit our f members of our family first hmm. and then our neighbors, hmm. our family friends and we will meet many people who are sometimes new for us I so that's I mean very this is very important actually, yes very important uh, usually, um, yes and sometimes we don't them. have time for meeting except in it hmm. so it is the time for gathering time for exactly. un uh, that we are united in the great day that we have hmm. so I mean it is very good mem memory that I recall when I was child. <laughs> yes, huh? and I also um, think and support the idea that um, we, should, we shouldn't only meet our family members during it. Um, it it's it's a, a very good occasion that Allah reminds us um, mm. that mm. you need to visit your family members, you need to keep Salatul Rahim and keep connection with all your family members, ask about them, encourage them to ask about you at the same time yes 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 all right now if i move to you brother um gamal mm -hmm. how was your eight when you were 10 years old <laughs> you're trying to test my memory <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, i'm my third generation muslim uh it's my grandfather who uh embraced islam he was in and that makes a very big number of my family members uh, hmm. most uh, some are christian some are Af sure. african traditions hmm. but um, alhamdulillah uh, beginning with my grandfather my father and i we are muslims so at 10 you know we live in the city so whenever it uh, 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 approached we had to pack pack all uh, possible things and leave for the for the village to the grandma and uh, yeah. they would, uh, you see, welcome us wholeheartedly. Thank you respect. Uh, uh, what made me uh, uh, wonder until now, I still wonder, is that they were not Muslims, but we would leave the city to go to the village to celebrate Eid with them, and they would welcome us, embrace us. My father would ask. Uh, 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 how can he get a sheep or goat? And they would look for that with the, you know, the goat or the sheep has certain traits that has to have uh, be health and what, what. They would do it. And some of my, I think, nieces, and uh, they became Muslims because of that act, because they were impressed. Yeah. Muslims mm -hmm. having non-Muslims celebrate. So we would, um, uh, on Eid, what I remember is that we had other young children, 
from my other uncles who were not Muslims. But on that day, we would name them some Arabic names temporarily. <laughs> <laughs> because we are gathered for an Islamic uh, function. So mm -hmm. people are, 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 are converging. So you, f you think, you feel shy to say, Stephen, come. <laughs> <laughs> so saying, right. Patrick, can you come? We say, uh, Ahmed. And then sometimes he forgets, oh, yeah, I'm Ahmed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember that. Absolutely. Sometimes I tell them, why don't you be Ahmed? 260, uh, 360 days. <laughs> why, why do you have to be Ahmad only, only one day? Yes. Uh, and they <laughs> exactly will say, yes. I'm, sti I'm still thinking about it. I think I will have to change and become Ahmad for, uh, for the for yeah, whole day. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we grew in that um, in that. Uh, but then uh, the system. upcoming generations yeah, yeah, are so already named. So, uh, yeah. so at 10, particularly when it, is, uh, when it was Eid, we used to go uh, on at uh, centers, buy balloons, buy sweets, chocolates. Mm -hmm. uh, some go to theaters. That's after I eat. You, you, you see, we were a very, we are a very big family. Mm. With the, uh, we are actually extended. Our family extends to about 800 people. Inshallah. So sometimes we used to gather all of us, we make a very wide tent and we call other people who are next to our family and we celebrate. But mm. on te at 10, they would bring all those who are below 10 years, you see, you, you, you narrate some things that you would like to do when you become old. So. I think uh, it was in 2000 when I was 10. So All right. Yeah, <laughs> I was in primary three. Uh, I, I was I was asked, "What do you want to be on it?" We would yeah, you would make a, the function uh, as if it was uh, a day for anybody to 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 air out what you want, what you need. What? Mm. So I said, "I would like when I become old, I would like to meet you here when." We do not call ourselves names that do not belong to us. <laughs> then right, my father so. told me, you must study Islam because your thinking has outsmarted my thinking because I don't think, even think about that. Oh. I think I see it normal for them to be called Muhammad only on Eid. <laughs> so we had a conversation. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, we had a conversation on that day. That's what I can remember. And then he said, uh, you know, he's not a, 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 a very well man to do with. He's always uh, a not-nonsense man. He doesn't leave a discussion unfinished. That day he told me, you are 10, but you think 23. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now your memory is 23, not 10. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. at 10, it, it was right. uh, something very big. But I've come to realize that. It's a matter of uh, becoming uh, uh, joyful and uh, celebrate it with others, and that's all. But at that time, you used to see as if you're not, you're no longer on earth, you're living somewhere <laughs> <laughs> on that day. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, uh, yeah. Brother Kamal. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, um, nowadays, um, aid, uh, some people feel it's a bit different. Uh, from from old days, yeah. do you share the same feeling? Yeah. Yeah. So All right. Well, why do you think so? Like, why why is it a bit different than uh, old days? And um, I'm not sure if you agree with me, but probably when you were younger, yeah. uh, it was much um, exciting. Um, much more exciting. It's yeah. the same thing. We do the same thing. We go pray, yeah. and people go hajj for every year. Yeah. But I'm not sure if it's the same feeling that you have. That's true. I feel that exactly. Hmm. You're right. what, what, why do you think so? Like, um, is it because we uh, started having um, a different perspective on it, or is it because um, of the very fast business life that people have, or is it because we stopped enjoying little things? You know, what I'm suggesting, I think, like, it's, and maybe you will agree with me this thing. It's like as you grow up, or older, like. Um, you come with things that that feeling, um, it matters to you. When when you are young, you don't have this feelings of like getting much into this world things. Hmm. So you have a free mind. It's just like joy, and you have no responsibility. So hmm. you don't have that feeling, hmm. getting worried of certain things and families and 
things going around the world. But as you grow up with studies, with everything, life comes in, you take the feeling and the celebration with something very light. Well, as a young little kid, you don't have that, so it's like it's much you, more you exciting. Won't say like you, you yeah, don't have responsibilities, you don't have. Yeah, uh, I feel with having things, so you celebrate with a very attendant, uh, attendance of a very low feeling, just let it pass, let it go. So it's, li it's like you don't feel like going to much that kind you were doing when you were young. Hmm. Yeah, that's what hmm. I feel like. I, if I'm right with you, <laughs> <laughs> at all. So. <laughs> all right, let, l yeah. let me move to uh, Brother Mudassi. What do you think? Well, uh, the Eid before the 10 years or 15 years was a little bit different. And at that time, well, it was more excited. But now we can feel the difference, of course. Uh, the main point that I want to discuss in this issue that uh, we have a lot of social differences. That's why uh, we can feel before 20 years or 15 years, hmm. whole community and the whole society was one. Mm. According to the saying of Allah, wa atasimu bihablillahi jamiyun wa la tafarraku. We all were one. But today we have uh, social differences comes into us a lot. Like we have a uh, higher stage and poor people. Whenever we will get together, mm. uh, we will enjoy it nicely. But when will mm. we differentiate that uh, the upper level people have different kind of celebration and the poor and the middle average men have different kind of celebration so we will not uh, get a taste of the nice celebration given by the Islam so we have to get together mm. and uh, uh, celebrate it as a community Muslim community even <coughs> we can see in the history that Muslims have uh, uh, invited the Christians and the people from the other religions to come with us and celebrate them we also uh, send them our wishes, well wishes on their celebrations. So uh, the point is that if the community will be together collectively, they will enjoy it nicely. I see. Mm. All right, that's uh, that's a great ad, of course. Uh, I hope, inshallah, we work towards this and the inshallah. whole. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, uh, Brother Lukman, um, what do you think? Do, do you think it is a bit different from old days? Yeah, it depends. For instance, if you are celebrating your age with your family, so will you will feel more happy. Me, right now, I'm celebrating my age, but I'm very far from my family. So the sign of it is not very, I mean, it's not very happy. It's different when I'm celebrating it with my family because yeah. I can meet the people that I used to meet them. I can pe meet my mother, my father, hmm. my my sister, my yes. my brother, and many people. Hmm. But when you are celebrating it and you are far away from your family, that leads me, that leads <laughs> me to a question. It seems yeah. that you're here alone, right? <laughs> <laughs> No. Most of us but like come that. Come on, we're <laughs> part of your family. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. But the, the, the Aren't we? Yeah, of course. It's, of course. It's, it's like it's never comparable <laughs> to home. You get it? I, I have spent more than five, four years here in yes. Egypt. Yes, you get it? I have very good Egyptian friends. Yes, <laughs> Alhamdulillah. You get it? But so you're all, you're all alone, brothers, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, but right. he says something. Now, but I'm sure you're not now. <laughs> yeah. He says something and he's touching to me. It's like it's never comparable when you're sitting at home, mom is beside you and everyone is with you. Yeah. You can never have that feeling here. Exactly. Though you have good people exactly. here around. And I'm sure your family actually doesn't miss you because they can see you now on TV. <laughs> you know? I wish right? you would have so. <laughs> Right. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, as, oh. as usual, time runs and we don't get much time to talk. Oh. Yeah. Um, I hope very soon, inshallah, we meet again uh, on Hajj Day today and also uh, on Hoda TV in general. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'd like to thank you very much all for coming. Uh, Brother Gamal from Uganda, thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you for the uh, uh, viewers. Thank all right. And Brother Mohammed from Gambia, thank you so much thank for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you for the reception. Thank and you. Brother Mudassar from Pakistan, it was a pleasure having you. You're welcome, brother. It was my pleasure to be you. And Brother Lukman from Indonesia, thank you for coming. It's my pleasure. Thank you. All right. Um, our dear brothers and sisters, now we're going for uh, a short report and then we come back after uh, the report with different nationalities to continue celebrating Eid al-Adha together. Stay with us. <laughs>